All right, and we're going to move it right along because our first guest is a director. Uh, I'm doing the Spanglish thing today. All right, he's a director, a producer, and an editor with over 15 years in the industry. He has just finished shooting his second feature film title, The Miracle of Spanish Harlem. And, well, he's here to tell us about his experiences in film and, and well, especially this experience uh, because it's going to have its world premiere this year. Please welcome to the set, Derek Velez, Partridge. Wow, look at you. You know, you're so regal with your purple and your gold. I am so honored to be here. Thank you for having me. I like the term regal. Yeah. I can get used to that. I feel like bowing. Oh, <laughs> you mean, not to me, not to me. Uh, but, you know, especially since you're a director, I, I'll probably be taking orders from you. <laughs> We can do a scene right now. If you're, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. you're feeling lonely, you're feeling depressed, you want to reach out, you know. Well, you know, I actually need to get back to being happy because I had an angry moment last week, but we're not going to get into that. Oh, that was wonderful. Oh, you saw it? You saw ah, print. <laughs> Go to print. <laughs> so you have been in this business for 15 years. Yeah. Uh, just share with us uh, what that has been for you and what that whole process has been. Torturous, awful, terrible. Really? No. Really? <laughs> no, no. Really? Well, you know, where did you start? How about well, that? Well, the truth is the only way to get anywhere is through your tragedies and your obstacles and all that other stuff. So, like, I'm, I'm in my 40s now and I just learned how to duck when the wall's coming. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I so do. You, you hit a lot of walls <laughs> along the way. But without that, I wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? So right. uh, I, I've done everything from short films to commercials to music videos to my second feature now, and uh, and we're rocking and rolling now. You know? Now it's interesting that you see, uh, you know, the, the obstacles because um, I, I recently made a statement with regards to like the struggle it builds strength, yeah. struggle builds yeah. strength, but it all has to do with your outlook yeah. uh, and, and and what it is that you get as your your lesson in that moment. Yeah. So I mean, you're on your second feature film, uh, which and it's yours, and you wrote it, and you you directed it. Uh, no, you, excuse me, uh, Carlos Bermudez Carlos wrote, Bermudez this wrote the original screenplay, right, absolutely. Of the Miracle of Spanish Harlem. Um, but you directed it, you yeah. edited it, yeah. you produced it. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of work. Yeah, I, I produced it along with Ed Martin, my other producer co and partner, and Karen Torres, who's a wonderful producer as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, I found this script that we, we ended up doing it. Because what happened was, going back to that other theme, right. is that I found my themes as a director. See, all those horrible moments are plot lines to me. Right. You know what I mean? Because without them, you have no drama. You have no chance to rise up to become your true self. And so all of my movies are me kind of like getting into that as an idea and then making a movie about it. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, can we speak? Can we just break it down to, you know, standard English for the people who are not film uh, and artists? <laughs> <laughs> I got it, but yeah. I want to make sure that they get it. Well, like, you know, it's like the movies that I make are all sort of like my own self-hypnosis, my own therapy. So what I've come to the conclusion, going back to obstacles and all this stuff, I decided to make a movie about that because that I understood. I understood obstacles. I understood how the trauma of all that. So what I started to realize, instead of getting bitter, or angry, I started to realize those are my gems because I have to correct something. If I'm not successful, then I must be doing something wrong. So I'm always self-fixing and, and analyzing, like cleaning your desk. You got to do it every, uh, every so often. So those terrible moments are moments for you to, to rise up to your, your true potential, which is what we're here to do. Right. So I make a movie about that. That's what I do. And so Tito, the character in the movie The Miracle Spanish Harlem, he's at his worst scenario, but he doesn't quite realize those are his gems because as soon as he faces them, potential of whatever could happen. Well, you know, um, just uh, to share with the viewers, uh, Tito is played by a Bronx boy. Bronx boy, Luis Antonio Ramos. Fantastic actor. Ramos! Yeah. Shout out to Ramos! We are so shouting you out, Luis Antonio <laughs> Ramos, because you're the man. He's an absolutely amazing actor. Everything that I'm telling you, he gave me in spades. Like, you know, the, the one th we've seen everything explode. We've seen everything just sort of like uh, car chases. But what we rarely see is a level of honesty. Right. If I could shock you with a level of honesty, and believe me, nowadays that's shocking to be s sincerely honest. Ramos delivered a performance that was sincerely honest. And because of that, it's touching people's hearts. And we're proud of that. You know, um, the fact that you chose... Uh 
el barrio Spanish Harlem as your uh, landscape and, yeah. and your backdrop and, and the story. Uh, let's actually share with the viewers what uh, uh, give them a little synopsis of what the story is about. Well, the, the story is about a father, a, a, a Boricua father who's raising two daughters on his own. He's he's a stand-up guy, but you know what? His life has been filled with all types of compl complications. He's he has he has a bodega that's failing. He has a, he has a second job driving a cab. He lost his wife, so now he has to raise children and a and a man trying to raise two daughters. That's complicated enough, and he's lost his faith. He's lost his belief that there's anything good that's going to happen out of his life. Then he meets Kate Del Castillo who's just this wonderful actress who plays the character of Eva, and she comes him and gives him an opportunity to love again. Except he can't afford her. He doesn't even have enough money to pay for a night out on a drink, a night out dancing or drinks and things like that. And all that does is cause more trauma. So the only thing that would, that would change the direction of his life would be a miracle. So what he does is he makes his own miracle. But what he ends up finding is a real miracle, because things happen quite differently than you expect. And that's the miracle of Spanish Harlem. Wow. Um, just because no, cause, just because we gave uh, 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 an, an idea of what um, I guess the storyline is in the plot, I, I think now is an appropriate time for us to show the viewers a, a clip. Fantastic. And so, do you know what we're going to be looking at? You want to set it up? I believe we're seeing the trailer, which uh, you know, there's always several types of trailers. This trailer is to pretty much lay out the story, give you a sense what to expect, and and uh, and what the movie overall is about. So it's 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 a bigger trailer because I believe it's two minutes long, so you'll get a sense of it. And okay. I'll gladly talk about it afterwards if you have any questions. Beautiful. All right, we're going to be taking a look at the trailer of the miracle of Spanish Harlem. you a question. Promise you won't get mad or sad? What is it? Can you tell us again where's mommy? I don't want to forget. Well, your mommy's right here in our hearts. No! I like it from the start. I'm still figuring out how much. Are you going to work here alone? Yeah, how? By the way, Daddy, you're not getting any younger. Problem is, you ain't got no faith. And it can move mountains, Poppy. Yeah, but I don't need to move mountains. I need to pay the rent. It's a miracle! Oh my God! It's a miracle! It's a miracle, I saw you! You're blind. You forgot how to live. Why? Why is this happening to me all over again? Here I am! You want me? You got me! What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Jimenez? This is the most despicable thing I've ever seen! What do you believe in here? I don't know what I believe. <laughs> I'm laughing at me. You're funny. I, I mean, I actually appreciate the snow in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to yeah. go there because you use uh, the snow effect. Yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. Derek, nice. I appreciate that very much. So, uh, where where are you going with this? I mean, I know you were just finalizing uh, the, the editing. Yeah, yeah, we're just actually finishing up the color correction in the final mix. And we've done a few screenings here and there. But now what we're going to do, see, it's a film that's really out for November. And we're going to be doing a, a limited release as of right now. So what we're doing is we're beginning a tour. 
We're getting a tour of the Tri-State area, different churches and different uh, charitable groups because we really want to give this film away. Too many independent films are always just brushed to the side because they, they put us in a box. But we think we have a film that has an audience. We think we have a film that has emotion and connects with people. So we're going to give it away for the next uh, of four months to five months at different charitable events. And if you want to contact us, please give us a, a, an email at, uh, at info at themiraclespanishharlem.com. Uh, and we're interested in, in giving it to different parishioners and churches, and, and we're going to travel through the Bible Belt. Do you realize traveling through the Bible Belt with an urban film is a new thing? I've never heard of it, and I think it's absolutely fabulous. Yeah, and you're you. actually doing this, the, the United States. Absolutely. We want everyone to see this because, you know, for, you know, racism is sort of a regional thing, you know, right. and, and different people have different opinions of Latinos, all different parts of the country. So what I'd like to do is show what Latinos are really like here in New York City, the melting pot of the world, and that we're not here to steal anything from you guys. We have the same experiences that you have. So I want to play in places like Texas and different places that we think that our audience will, they will respond to the, the loss of faith uh, issue and be able to, and get that we're all so much alike. And I don't want to get political, but that's... No, <laughs> but, yeah. it, but this is such a great uh, way, uh, a great approach uh, in sharing yeah. with, and making sure that a lot of people that's right. see it. That's right. Not just the select audience that choose to pay to go see no, it. No, no. We, we like to think we're making ourselves a, cl a classic, because it's a film that you could watch with your abuelita. You will find something with it. You could watch it with the children as well. There's no vulgarity in it, although it's provocative. And we look at it. We want to build our audience in the Midwest, because we want to be on television. We would love to see this be... The the, the, the new it, It's a Wonderful Life, starting, you know, Latinos, you know, but it's, it's, it's really about the human species. Nice, nice. That's our goal. That's wonderful. <laughs> I think that's such a wonderful, I mean, look, I'm over here going, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, I mean, that's a classic, so yeah, I'm just saying, right. you know, we're, we're kind right. of like intertwining here, you're in the same absolutely show, right. we're referring to classics. Because classic doesn't have anything to do with race, it has to do with content. Right. You know? Right, right. Now, um, would you share with us some of the actors that are, because you you had some name, big yeah. names in there. Yeah, for, for, a, uh, for a little film, we had a lot of uh, people really come out for us. We had Tony Plana come in from uh, Ugly Betty. He plays a, a minor role, but a very strong, powerful role. I Meaning he didn't have a lot of dates, but his role holds a lot of weight. In Gerardo case, Rivera. Right. Sure. Well, in, in case people don't know who Tony Plana is, that's the man who he played uh, Betty, Ugly Betty's father right. on, on ABC. You that's remember right. that? That's right. And then uh, Geraldo yeah. Rivera. Rivera, who just came in. That guy's a star, man. He comes on, the voice, everything. It was very intimidating the, to be. And he's one of the characters that's there when. When when the whole, when what he does is exposed, so therefore, who doesn't want to? Who fears being exposed by Geraldo Rivera? We had Luis Antonio Ramos, as we mentioned. Now we also have uh, Fatima Patacek. Fatima Patacek is uh, she's going to be announced in some really big shows coming up soon. She's a star to look for. Uh, uh, we have uh, Luis Antonio Ramos, as a Kate Del Castillo, who's a huge Mexican star, and people really love her. But here, she's not utilized for the talent that she is. So we got her. Uh, we got, oh, Priscilla Lopez, who's really famous for winning the Tony for a, a chorus line back in the 70s. So we, we have a few legends in here that are just fantastic. And they all bled for me. And they all bled for you. Yeah. They saw that I was crazy and they just went for the ride. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> wow. Um, you know, I asked him to name um, everybody because this is... Uh, he, they put a really nice collective together of people who bled for him <laughs> for this magical film. And um, they are on Facebook and they are looking to uh, have people uh, interact with, Absolutely. with the development of like their tour. Well, see, nowadays in selling movies, it's the same for music, it's the same for films, is we have access to our audience. And that's what the distributors are trying to hold on to with every tooth and nail. But now what we can talk. We have more than over close to 10,000 friends on Facebook. The MiracleSpanishHarlem.com site is getting hit regularly. And we're able to connect with an audience. So we're doing this long rollout. Hey, baby. That's your baby <laughs> yeah, girl, right? That's my baby She's girl. She's so cute. <laughs> Look at her. 
Uh, she wants to hang out. That's yeah, what she, she Yeah, well, you know, she's practicing her, her, her vocal skills yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. for hosting. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we could be here all day, but yeah. we can't yeah. because, you know, they're, they're like, okay, we got to move it along, Rena. And, you know, um, we're really excited to be sharing uh, this information on the miracle of Spanish Harlem because, you know, we're, we're excited to refer to miracles, period. Yeah. Um, and the film itself sounds like it's going to be a miracle. So make sure you get in on the miracle <laughs> and check them out on Facebook. Facebook yeah. and go to uh, facebook.com slash miracle it's miracle Harlem the miracle of Spanish Harlem it, com. okay it's the miracle of Spanish Harlem com online so on yes. uh, it's www.themiracle of Spanish Harlem com, and then you can get to their Facebook and their Twitter yeah, from there's, there. there's photos on there behind the scenes stuff a whole bunch of stuff all right thank you so much mm, oh, thank you for having thank me thank you Derek Velez Patrick hello Bronx have a good day Woo!